Hi there, my name is Jessica Drossen. Today I'm going to walk you through how to use my new Magenta Daisy digital background with matching flowers overlay. You can use these files one of two ways. One as a PSD file with layers or as a JPEG file with matching transparent overlays. As a bonus, I'm also including two different sets of pink daisy overlays. So let's get started. First, find a subject that will fit into your background. I'm going to select this image, duplicate the layer, and then I'm going here to select Subject. For this demonstration, I'm using Adobe Photoshop from Creative Cloud for 2022. Once you have your selection, simply hit the mask button at the bottom of your layers palette. Now drag that layer right into your background. You can see that this layer is nestled between a couple of the different overlays. I'll show you how that works in just a second. Now we're going to need to scale our subject to fit better with the environment. Make sure that you're doing this proportionally. Now if we need to make some adjustments to our mask, let's go ahead and zoom in. Now using a soft black brush we're just going to work into that mask that Photoshop created for us automatically and just add a, some more transparency, particularly around the hair. I do this with a low opacity brush and I allow the hair to pick up a little bit of that background color so that it looks natural and realistic. Now, when I dragged my subject in, she happened to be situated sort of in the middle between these different overlays. Alright, so let's use that bonus action to help to integrate her. Right now she's feeling a little cool and perhaps a little too bright. So with a simple click of this button we have it so that these two adjustments are only affecting our subject. Now a really fun part is playing with turning these different foreground layers on and off and changing where the subject rests within them. You'll see by turning some on and off and playing with the order, you get very different effects. So have fun playing with different layers turned on and off and different orders until it feels the best to fit your subject. Then I would recommend making any final editing adjustments. I hope you have a lot of fun playing with this new background and these overlays, which can be used without the background too. And don't forget, there's more bonus overlays included in your downloads if you want to do something completely different. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.